Happening now, the fight against the invasive lionfish is on. The Emerald Coast Lionfish Tournament is underway in Destin, leading up to the seventh annual lionfish removal and awareness festival tomorrow and Sunday. WKRG.com mobile journalist Daniel Smithson is live right outside AJ Seafood with more on the tournament. A beautiful day to be out there. Yeah, Cherish, it is a beautiful day. Uh, this is the largest lionfish tournament in the world happening right here off the Emerald Coast. I'm joined by the Okaloosa, Okaloosa uh, Coastal Resource Manager, Alex Fogg. Man, Alex, you guys really uh, picked the perfect day and weekend for this to happen, right? Yeah, that's one of the biggest things. We're always crossing our fingers for, for good weather. We need it for the festival. We also need it so that divers can make it offshore and shoot a bunch of lionfish. And before we talk about the tournament or the festival starting tomorrow, for those who don't know, why have lionfish become such a big problem here? Well, lionfish are beautiful fish. People love them in their aquarium, but that's where they need to stay. Odds are that, I guess the theory is that people release those fish into the wild and they ended up prol proliferating, moved all the way up the East Coast, down to the Caribbean, and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. Got here in 2010, and we have numbers here greater than anywhere else in, in their invaded range. Yeah, and so to combat that, you guys have, you know, more than 150 spear fishermen out there on the hunt for these fish. The top prize goes to who gets the most, right? Yeah, so the, the team that gets the most lionfish will win $10,000 cash. The one who gets the biggest and the smallest will each win 5000 and we're paying out all the way to sixth place. And it's really important that we have these events to, to help, I guess, maintain the reefs out there. We have a very large fishing industry here in Destin, Fort Walton Beach, and we need to make sure those fish are healthy. And if there's a fish out there that's competing with them or impacting them, we need to do something about it. Yeah, and like obviously helping to protect the waterways is important, but these fish are pretty delicious too, right? They really are. Yeah, they may have venomous spines, but they are not poisonous. They're extremely tasty and actually very, very healthy. They're actually healthier than a lot of our native species that we have here, like grouper and snapper. So if you have a chance, I really encourage you to, to get down to AJ's tomorrow where you can actually sample it. We've been uh, having lionfish at a number of different restaurants this week, but tomorrow's the last night of it and it'll be at uh, AJ's on, on the harbor. And what can people expect if they plan to come out to the festival starting tomorrow? Yep, so the festival, uh, we're working with Florida Fish and Wildlife on that. And uh, we have, I think, 30, 35 vendors where we're going to be having arts and crafts, a bunch of conservation, education stuff. Um, we'll also be having the weigh-in. So if you come down here, you can sample lionfish. You can learn about some conservation. Uh, it'll just be a, a great day, and I think the weather's going to cooperate for us, too. Perfect. Well, make sure you come out tomorrow um, and or Sunday uh, out here at AJ's reporting live in Destin. I'm Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.